Um, we'll start on our backs with a gentle warm up first and then we'll go into our mobility um, movements. So come down onto your backs, find yourself in a supine position to begin. Just get comfortable, you can have your knees bent, your right legs can just fall up straight wherever they need to go. Arms can either go out to the side or maybe even place one hand on your tummy and one hand on your chest. And we're just going to bring our attention to our breath. So breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just start to be aware of how your body's feeling. Maybe scan from head to toe and be aware of that breath within your body. And whenever you're ready, we're gonna take three deep inhales, drawing that breath deep down into the base of the stomach first. Layering all the way up through the rib cage to the top of the collarbone before exhaling completely. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then just slowly bring your knees in towards your chest and hug them with both arms. You can rock from side to side, massage that lower back. Begin to start to notice how each area of your body's feeling. And then just gradually make those rocks into circles. So we're just going to push the knees out and around, maybe three or so times in one direction. And then bring them all the way back to centre and go back in the other direction. One more circle all the way around. Gently bring the knees all the way back into centre. You're then going to take a hold of the left knee. Exhale as you extend the right leg all the way to the floor. Inhale as you pull that left knee in towards the centre of your chest. Exhale, release tension. And then inhale as you bring the right leg back up. Switching over the hands. Exhale as you extend the left leg all the way to the floor. Inhale as you pull the right knee in towards the centre of the chest. Take a nice deep breath all the way in again. Exhale, bring both knees as you inhale back to centre. And then we're going to take the toes to the floor, but keep the heels lifted. Arms go out wide in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. Think about gluing those shoulders to the floor. And we're just going to drop the knees from side to side for a few window wipers. Releasing off that lower back. Unraveling the spine. Opening up the chest, the shoulders. One more each way. And then slowly come all the way back to centre and make your way up to seated. So finding yourself in a seated position in the centre of your mat, we're just going to inhale as we lift one arm up, reaching up tall, feel the extension in the side body, and then exhale as you reach over to the other side. Inhale back to centre, switching over the hands. Exhale, reach all the way over to the other side. Inhale back to centre. We're just going to do two more of these each side, moving with your own breath, in your own time. and then slowly come all the way back to centre. From here with the legs, you're going to take the knees out to a 90-90 angle. So you're finding that 90-90 bend with both the knees and then you're letting them drop over one side. From here, think about inhaling to lift and then exhaling to twist and look over that leading leg, maybe even twist deeper to get over that shoulder. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, exhale, and then inhale as you lift all the way back to centre, lifting the knees up and over to the other side. Exhale as you twist all the way round in the opposite direction. Take another nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. 
Inhale all the way back to centre and we're going to do that two more times each side. So just take a moment to feel the stretch each way, open up that back hip, twist through the spine. Help yourself around with your hands if you need to. And then come all the way back to centre, one more each way. and then come all the way back to centre. And we're gonna make our way onto our hands and knees. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're just going to take three cat cows. So you're going to inhale as you dip the tummy, squeeze the shoulder blades together, look up towards the ceiling, and then exhale as you round through the spine, pressing the ground away, sucking the navel back and up. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. And then slowly bring the hands to the front two corners of the mat, tuck the toes and press up and back into your down facing dog. Take a moment there to pedal out through the feet, open up the backs of the cuffs, the hamstrings, even get into the hips and the toes. Few deep breaths all the way in. Exhale. And then we're going to take right foot outside of right hand into a low lizard lunge. So dropping the back knee to the floor, reaching the heart forwards, eye gaze forwards. And then with that right hand, we're going to inhale to lift and reach all the way up to the ceiling. Feel the shoulders open. And then exhale as you take that elbow toward the floor. We're just going to do three elbow taps or elbow rotations. On this side, opening up the hips, opening up the chest. And then when you've done that third one, replace the hand. Step back to down facing dog and switch sides. So left foot comes outside of left hand. Drop the back knee to the back uh, to the floor. And then inhale as you lift and reach with that left hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you tap that elbow toward the floor. Two more. and then replace the hand, step back to your down facing dog, pedal out the feet, and then slowly start to walk those feet in towards the hands, coming into your Uttanasana forward fold at the front of the mat. Draw the chest over the thighs, crown of the head towards the floor, and then just take opposite hand to opposite elbow for that ragdoll variation. And just spend a moment hanging out here. You can swim from side to side. Bounce up and down, whatever you feel your body needs to get deeper into the backs of the legs, the hips, the hamstrings. And then whenever you're ready, exhale, release the hands. Place them on the floor. We're going to come down into three crouch curls. So you're going to inhale as you lift the heels off the floor, coming down into the bottom of a squat position. Chest to thighs, nose to knees. And then as you exhale, you're going to push up and back, focusing on stretching out the backs of those legs. Inhale to crouch. Exhale to fold. One more each way. Inhale to crouch. Exhale to fold. And then slowly inhale as you come all the way up, extended to dasana, reaching up tall. Exhale, release the arms, shake it all out. You should be feeling a little bit more warm. So if you have a yoga strap, go ahead and grab it. If you don't, um, we're just going to do 10 pass-throughs of these. And um, if you don't have a strap, you can always do the same sort of movement with your arms and just do arm circles. So if you don't have a strap, you're going to take the arms out wide and you're going to swing them up and around 10 times in one direction and then go back 10 times in the other direction. If you have a yoga strap, you're gonna grab a hold of one end, you'll grab a hold of the other end with the other hand, and you're gonna have it quite wide to begin with and just rest that strap in your hips. From here, keeping your arms straight, you're going to lift the strap all the way up over the head and then take it back behind you, tap the bum, and then come all the way back up 
and over. As you do this, you should make sure that the movement comes only from your shoulders and you're not flaring out, and I'll do a bad one for you now, flaring out through the ribs and taking it through the back as well. So just keep that torso nice and upright, keep those ribs, ribs glued down. As you do this with a strap, you might find that your mobility improves and you can maybe challenge it a little bit more and take half a twist in, narrow your grip and challenge yourself further. I'm just gonna do two or three more. Last one. And then remove that strap from your hand, just chuck it to one side and um, we'll come back to Tadasana. From here, you're going to take the hands back behind you, interlace the fingers, clasp the hands together, and then think about rolling the shoulders back and down as you push the hands towards the ground. So you're opening up that chest. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to soften the knees, hinge at the hips, and come down into a forward fold. You can now pull those hands away from your back, pulling the arms up high. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the arms to the side, then tap chin to chest, and you're slowly going to roll all the way up, stacking vertebrae by vertebrae to standing. We're going to do that two more times. So taking the hands back behind you, clasp them, open up the shoulders, pull the shoulders back and down, take a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, hinge at the hips, come all the way down into that forward fold, pull the hands away from your upper back, and then exhale, release the arms. Tuck the chin, inhale to roll all the way back up. One more time, interlace the hands, clasp the hands together, pull the hands back and down, open up that chest. Exhale as you hinge at the hips, coming all the way down, pull the hands away from the back, find that stretch. And then exhale, release the arms, tuck the chin and slowly roll all the way up to standing. From here, we're going to inhale as we lift the hands all the way up, extended to dasana, and then exhale as we come all the way down into our Uttanasana forward fold. You're gonna take the hands to the front two corners of the mat, walk the feet all the way to the back of the mat, find your down facing dog position, pedal out through the feet, and we'll take a body flow. So you're going to inhale as you roll through the hips, drop the hips to the floor, look up towards the ceiling, find cobra, and then exhale as you push back to come up onto your hands and knees. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're just going to take three thread the needles. So you're going to thread the right hand through and under, shoulder to the floor, look out underneath that left armpit. So you should feel this stretch across the upper back into the shoulder, down the arm, maybe in the neck too. You're then going to inhale as you lift and reach with that same hand back and up, towards the ceiling, pressing the ground away with that left hand. Exhale to thread, shoulder to the floor, make sure you feel that stretch before you move. Inhale to lift. One more each way. Exhale to thread. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release that hand to the floor and switch sides. So left hand now threads through and under. Shoulder to the floor, look out underneath that left armpit, to, uh, right armpit, sorry, <laughs> and then inhale as you lift and reach. Exhale to thread. Again, just take a moment there to feel the stretch. Inhale to lift and reach. The last one each way. Exhale to thread. Inhale to lift and reach. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Taking the hands underneath the shoulders now, we're just going to do five scap presses. So this is a really good one for building shoulder strength and mobility and supporting any upper back pain. Keeping the elbows nice and straight, you're gonna think about making a very small movement with the chest, dropping it down towards the floor, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then pulling the shoulder blades apart, pushing the chest away from the floor. So you're almost trying to hollow it out. You're just going to do five of those. Try not to bend the arms at all and try not to take any movement in the lower back. Take this entirely between the shoulder blades. It gets pretty spicy pretty quick. It's a really good one for supporting those shoulders. One more. 
and then slowly come back to neutral. From here, take the hands to the front two corners of the mat, slide the legs back and come down into a prone position. Taking the hands out slightly wider than the shoulders, option one, you can have the hands flat on the floor, or option two, you can use the fingertips. Fingertips just mean that you're using more of your core rather than your arms. So have a play, feel, feel around as you do this. With the forehead to the floor, think about rolling the shoulder blades back and down, squeezing them together so you're setting up at the bottom and then you're going to inhale as you peel the body away from the ground, vertebrae by vertebrae, coming all the way up into cobra and then exhaling as you melt the body back down. You're going to do two more of those. So reset at the bottom, squeeze those shoulder blades together, pull the shoulders away from the ears, inhale to lift and then exhale to fold. One more time again, reset, inhale to lift, exhale to fold. From here, taking the left hand underneath the left shoulder in this prone position, you're gonna slide the right arm out to the side. Palm facing down, glue that shoulder to the floor. With the left leg, you're going to inhale to lift and reach up and over toward the right hand. So you're twisting through the spine and then just relax the head to the floor and just take five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you come all the way back up to centre and switch sides. So left arm now goes out to the side. Glue that hand and shoulder to the floor. Right hand comes underneath that right shoulder. Inhale as you lift and reach that right leg all the way up and over to the left. And then come all the way back down towards the ground or relax all the way back down towards the ground. Five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you come all the way back up and over, taking the hands back underneath you. You're gonna then press up onto your hands and knees and we become into cow face pose. So you're gonna bring your knees underneath you. Option one to just do this in a cross-legged position. If you want to get into the hips, you're going to then crisscross your knees. I'm going to face the other way so you can see. You're going to take the, crisscross the knees. So left knee goes in front of right. And then you're going to sit back in that gap that you've just created with those knees. So option to stay like this. Or option to just take that left foot, place it on the floor. Or even just sit in a regular crisscross legged position. However you are comfortable. With the arms, you're going to take the right arm up. Left arm goes out to the side, and as you exhale, you're gonna reach back behind you, see if you can interlace those fingers. If you really struggle with this one, then feel free to just switch it out for a tricep stretch. Pick whichever progression you need, and then we're holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Come up onto your hands and knees and we'll crisscross the legs in the opposite direction. So left knee now goes behind, right knee stacks in front. You're gonna sit back in between that gap that you've just created. And then this time left arm reaches up tall, right arm goes out to the side and you're reaching back and behind. Again, tricep stretch is always an option. This side is my more difficult side and you'll probably find you've got a favorite side too. And then hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Slowly unravel yourself. Come back up onto your hands and knees. And then we're gonna come into 
extended child's pose. So option one, sitting back on your heels, you're just simply going to reach the hands forwards, forehead to the floor, and just relax there, breathing into the upper back, feeling the expansion between the shoulder blades. And everybody can start here before they progress into the other options. So one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then option to stay here if you wish, or if you want to take it slightly deeper into the thoracic spine, we're going to come off the heels slight, off the bum, uh, yeah, off the heels slightly, and then reach forwards with the hands, and you're either going to take your chin to the floor, and we're eventually going to take the chest to the floor too. So you're going to reach all the way forwards with the hands, and we'll just take three deep breaths here, chin to the floor, looking forwards to the front of that mat. Again, focusing and breathing into the upper back, and as you exhale, let your chest now melt down towards the floor. And last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then finally, option to stay here again, or option to take it all the way through into full puppy pose, taking the chest to the floor, I go to the front of the mat and relax down for a further three deep breaths. The last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you come all the way back up onto your hands and knees. From here, taking the hands to the front two corners of the mat again, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. We're going to come into a kneeling lunge. So just take a moment there to pedal out through the feet. The final one before we do a cool down stretch, we're going to take the left foot through to the front of the mat and then drop the right knee to the floor. So take a slightly wider stance for this because you're going to take your hands off the floor. You're going to reach the hands in front of you, palms together. As you exhale, you're going to twist that left, right hand, sorry, all the way back behind you and take the eye gaze back too. So you should feel a stretch in the hip, in the chest, in the shoulders, and then inhale as you come all the way back to the front. Exhale to reach behind. Inhale to come back to the front. We're going to do three more on this side. Take it nice and slow, feel the stretch. One more. And then come all the way back to the front of the mat. Replace the hands to the floor. Step back to your down facing dog. Pedal out the feet. And then this time, left foot steps through to the front of the mat. Drop that right knee back down to the floor. Inhale as you lift the hands up in front of you. Palms together again, and this time left hand reaches back behind. So you're twisting tummy over thigh. Inhale back to centre. Exhale to twist. Three more. Again, remember that slightly wider stance if you need to for balance. Last one. And then come all the way back to centre, replace the hands to the floor, step back to your down facing dog, pedal out the feet and we'll take one final body flow. So we're going to inhale as we roll forwards, drop the hips, look up, find cobra and then exhale as you push back to extended child's pose. Forehead to the floor, take a nice deep breath all the way in, exhale, relax into the ground below. One more deep breath all the way in again. And as you exhale, walk the hands all the way over to the left. Feel the stretch in the right side body. Take two deep breaths. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you walk the hands all the way back to the top of the mat. And then exhale as you walk them all the way over to the right. Feel the stretch in the left side body. Take another two deep breaths. Exhale. 
and exhale completely. And then slowly come all the way back to centre. Come up onto your hands and knees, swivel yourself around into a seated position now on your mat. And then bring your knees and then come down onto your back, bringing your knees in towards your chest. Hug them with both arms and just enjoy that gentle rock from side to side. And then taking the arms out wide in a T-shaped position, palms facing down and glue the shoulders to the floor. As you exhale, you're going to drop the knees all the way over to the left. And as you inhale, you're going to lift and twist that head to look towards the right. You can press down on the outer thigh, extend that top leg, yogi's choice. Take a further five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you lift and twist your head back to centre. And then exhale as you drop the knees all the way over to the right. Inhale to lift and twist the head towards the left. You can press down on the outer thigh. Extend that top leg. Five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly release that leg if you've got a hold of it. Inhale to lift the head and the knees back to centre. Hug the knees in tight. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you come all the way up to seated finding yourself back in the centre of your mat. For the final time, we take a nice deep breath all the way in as we lift our hands up above our heads, palms together at the top. And as we exhale, bringing the hands to the forehead, kind thoughts. To the lips, kind words. To the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.